Luke, it's tax time. It is. Ugh. Yeah, that's generally the yeah the way people feel about it. Um, or ooh, I get a payday. I get my money back. Yeah. Uh, if you're a business owner, it's a little different. It's a lot of work it's, sometimes. Yeah. So uh, sometimes people work for themselves. Mm-hmm. Um, sometimes you work as the head of the payroll and maybe bookkeeping at your company. Mm-hmm. Uh, you have to keep track of everybody comes to you says, here's my receipts from lunch. Mm-hmm. Here are my invoices for my expenses. Mm -hmm. Uh, Here is a whole stack of things that I have to write off Mm -hmm. for the end of the year. So what do you do if you're that person? I'm setting you up here. You have a uh, a little paper holder, and you just look at it in word process, and you type it all in. You copy the mental everything digitally that's on this reserve physically. Date of birth. Take a picture on your phone. (laughs) Send it to your drive, and then you can download it. And then extrapolate from there. Or or, you could get something like this. Well done. From uh, Epson. This is the Rapid Receipt RR600W. Yes. It is a receipt scanner is what they say, but uh, it scans more than just receipts. Yeah. So this thing will do up to 100 uh, pieces of paper, 100 documents Mm -hmm. at one time in the hopper. Yep. And it goes all the way down to a business card size. Yeah. Um, up to, uh, you know, 11 inches, 11 and in, uh, eight and a half yeah. by whatever. So you can I do like uh, 11 do. or 14 if you have yeah. like a legal document. Mm-hmm. You can scan those in. Uh, so unlike a flatbed scanner where you would just kind of lift the lid and lay your receipts in the corner and, mm-hmm. or put two of them at, you know, I've got uh, some restaurant receipts from meals while I was out of town. Close that, scan in, then I can crop and turn that into three separate things or one file. Mm-hmm. Um, something like this, I can put them in there as a stack of them. Yep. Pulls them through and automatically... It will create... It has software that you can use, um, but it also uh, can be used without a computer. So you can mm-hmm. set this up on a, a desk somewhere else, and it'll download everything into uh, a USB drive if you want. Mm-hmm. But what it does, it will scan everything. It will align. If for some reason a receipt goes in here crooked, Mm -hmm. it'll scan it, put all that information uh, in a PDF for you in an easy, readable. uh, It'll take out watermarks, coffee stains. Uh, You don't have to worry about if there's staples on the paper still Mm -hmm. or something like that. It'll it'll handle all of that um, and then give you a digital copy that you can use for whatever purposes you need. Sure. And, and it will automatically sync or send to mm-hmm. your cloud destinations. Yep. So if you're set up with Google Drive or Dropbox, Evernote is mm-hmm. you know one of those ecosystems where you might work out of. That's a uh, very handy way of getting things from physical to your digital. Yep. Especially in bulk. Um, Luke, do you know how many pages daily this thing is equipped to handle? Um, multiple. More than one? Yes. Okay, yeah. Uh, 4,000. A day. Per day. That's a lot. Yeah, according to the uh, PDF here I've got from Epson, this has a daily duty cycle of 4,000 sheets. Wow. That's pretty awesome. Yeah. Um, 600 DPI resolution. Right. So it's not just making a copy, but making a high resolution copy Mm -hmm. of your document. And... uh, would you venture to guess it might work for photos? I think so. Probably if it has that kind of resolution. I don't know. Um, we haven't looked at the software yet. Yeah. We don't know exactly what it does when it scans something in. But it, based on that resolution, you should be able to scan a photo. Uh, yeah. It's not designed that for that. Sure. They don't advertise that. It might not be possible. But right. uh, with that kind of resolution, it would be great for scanning photos. Yeah. Um, this is also a 4.3 inch touchscreen. Okay. Uh, there's really not much else to it. And looking at it, it's got uh, your power cable and a USB mm-hmm. cord. And then it's got a spot for a uh, thumb drive in the back. So theoretically, this doesn't have to be connected to a computer nope. to send these things to drive or right. just to the hard drive. Right. This could be something that if I wanted to sit down on a Sunday 
and watch, you know, binge Netflix or something, and I've got a stack of things that I just need to digitize. It'll do it. You can set a stack in there, set scan, watch when it's done, reload. It's all on the uh, thumb drive, and then that can go to the computer. Mm -hmm. And this also um, will link up with all your tax software, like uh, QuickBooks or mm -hmm. TurboTax or, you know, any of those. It's, it's made to work with those also. I don't think we mentioned also uh, it will scan both sides of a document in one in one pass right so it doesn't have to go in and then back feed and scan the other sides mm -hmm. it, it will scan both sides of a paper in one pass and it looks like if it gets jammed if you've got something that's mm -hmm. kind of like a wrinkled piece of receipt that mm -hmm. you worry about that pops open nice and easy yep and it's just one pass yep you can just see it just goes right through there yeah there's no uh, <clears throat> There's no, it doesn't bend the paper around yeah, it or doesn't anything go, like that. Then through here and out the back or, right. yeah. Uh, so a couple other things here. This is wireless. That's the W in mm -hmm. the, the model number. Okay. This will work with 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz. Okay. So Great. for a lot of people, if you're trying to set that up wirelessly to your yeah. computer or on your network, that is a concern for some people. Yeah. Is I don't know how to make my network uh, turn off the five gigahertz or I'm trying to pair this thing and I can't get this to recognize my network properly mm -hmm. This will connect to either one of those. That's great. Uh, so yeah, and that's another way that you know You could actually sit there on a Sunday and watch TV and be scanning these things and, and then not, wirelessly Yeah, not have to use a, a jump drive. Yeah. You could just have it right there on your 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 other device. Yep This has uh, software and again, we haven't played with the software, but it does have some intelligent uh, OCR software, I believe they call it um, Kofax Power PDF. Yep. And a PDF converter for Mac. So this will actually create PDF documents out of your stuff that are searchable. Yeah. So you you know you could take a receipt and actually if you needed to search for something or if you've got business cards mm -hmm. and you wanted to search for a contact name or a phone number, right. You can search through those. So and, you know another use for this is you know I'm thinking maybe um, if a teacher has to look at a whole bunch of essays yeah you know maybe you can put that scan it in and it would scan it in as a pdf and then it's searchable so you could search through sure. or if you're doing research for something mm -hmm. any kind of uh we're just archiving for posterity mm -hmm. you know if i'm if i'm a cool teacher yeah. i'm archiving stuff for parents and i could say hey this is all the stuff that your kid did throughout the year whether you yeah. have a copy of it or not or yeah if it came a home, digital copy of it yeah here you go or this is uh the progress of what they did as a writer and you can see mm -hmm. you know so there's lots of cool stuff that you can do yeah just by taking a physical document and making a digital version of that yeah. or if you're writing a book and you for some reason you write everything on notepads yep then you can just scan it in and you'll have a digital yeah version of it. and that's where evernote comes in nice if you're uh mm -hmm. an artist yep. sketching doing anything like that you can put your whole sketchbook you know, put the sheets in there and then have that go in. Then you can mark them up and do different things with them that way. Uh, this has, uh, for the business contacts, there is some software specifically. It's called NewSoft Presto uh, BizCard software. Okay. So I imagine there's quite a bit of uh, flexibility in how it looks at business cards and extracts that information. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, this is the Epson. Uh, so one of the things is, you know, we talk about, you know, personal taxes and scanning documents. This is not something that I would say uh, you want to do for yourself in terms of um, scanning your own files, putting your own documents. But if you're a business user, user or owner and you want to scan a bunch of documents, this is going to be more up your alley. Yeah. Uh, this guy runs about three ninety nine right now. Okay. And I believe that is on sale. Yeah. 20% uh, off. So... Three ninety nine, normally four ninety nine, but it does come with. Um, it doesn't say how long that discount is. Right. So it could be one of those things where in perpetuity. I don't know for sure. Um, uh, well, actually, offer valid uh, until March fifth. So maybe, maybe not. By the time you're watching this, it yeah. may still be available. Uh, but, but I imagine something like this they'll run promotions on, especially yeah. this time of year. Specifically this time of year. So, yeah, yeah this is something that uh, if you're sitting around going, man, I've got so much crap. I just started a, a business last year or during the pandemic. I 
figured out a side hustle and now it's a business and okay. I have I, a pile of receipts. Yeah, I've been doing all this uh you know, person to person sales, things like that. This is a great way to get started with that. Or if you're preparing for a tax professional, maybe you don't do your own taxes, but yeah. you have your accountant that says, Hey, I need all your receipts and all your paperwork. How much uh, nicer would it be to just hand them a thumb drive yep. and say, Here you go. Yep. Or these are on Google Drive and here's a link. Right. Yeah. So uh, that is the Epson Rapid Receipt Desktop Scanner RR600W. Yeah. Thanks for watching. All right, that's going to do it for this episode of the podcast. Thanks for listening. We appreciate it. If you guys have any questions, feedback, concerns, comments, anything, shoot us an email at podcast at androidguys.com. We'd love to hear from you one way or the other. Uh, Luke, if someone wants to get a hold of you, how do yeah. they do that? Uh, I am on Instagram and Twitter at Luke Gall, G-A-U-L. And I'm on Instagram at Scott Webster and Twitter as swebster77. Until next time, thanks for listening. See ya.